And now, I talk back with Ray. I'm telling you, I couldn't make it up if I tried. And Mandy. You've got to be freaking kidding me. You know what? That's all I'm saying. Hello, everyone. Thank y'all so much for tuning back into I Talk Back with Ray. And Mandy. Thank y'all so much, first of all, for 25 plus downloads of our yes. very first show. That was super awesome. That's right. Super neat. Um, very appreciative. Don't forget to like and share, of course, subscribe. That way you do get notified when we have um, our regular episodes. But if we have bonus episodes, you'll get notified of that as well. So we're, this episode we're going to do is called Question of the Day. I know y'all remember this from last time. So this episode is going to be Question of the Day, which is two questions in one kind of. So. Mm-hmm. Yes. So we put a poll out there to kind of see what you guys were interested in uh, learning about or us talking about, that kind of thing. We got a lot of good feedback. One of the questions was actually posed by two separate people and they kind of go together. So we're going to just address them both yeah. at the same time. Um, so basically on one side you have toxic parents and on the other side you have the want or need of parents to be respected so we're going to kind of put those two together and chat about them with you um the way i took the questions was like it's a two question i'm obviously right so the first question um was more about like how do you deal with toxic parents like what like how do they you know interact with your life or not interact in your life or um i think it's a little bit different if you are a child if you're younger versus an adult, then how do you navigate those waters? Mm-hmm. Then the other question had to do with toxic parents. I took that question as um, when you have a situation most of the time where you have two parents mm-hmm. that that are that are supposed to co-parent a child or multiple children, and one of the parents is a little bit more um, hmm, vocal. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> or just not as um, what's the word? Okay. Not as supportive of the other parents <laughs> as they should be. Like, how do you deal with number one as an adult or a child dealing with toxic parents, and then how do you co-parent with somebody that is toxic, mm-hmm. basically, um, and then still be able to have a relationship with your children? So mm-hmm. that's why I get those questions. Yeah, and on my side, um, I took it pretty much the same way that Ray did. Um, It's hard to have people that are (laughs) separated, and now we're going off of emotions, right? One person's mad at the other one, vice versa, for whatever reason. And then we have, I mean, if you have a child involved in that relationship, it makes it worse, right? Because now the child... For whatever reason, people will make them a pawn, which is not fair to the child Um, at any age, any age of the child. So, you know, Ray and I were chatting before and I was kind of telling her that I have one of my best friends going through some drama right now. And, you know, basically the baby's being played as a pawn in, in the whole situation. And it's not fair. You know, I mean, the dad absolutely adores his daughter but the mom is making it a little bit difficult so when you have things like that you already know that the mom is acting off of emotions for whatever reason and not putting the child's needs first so when you have toxic parents in that sense it's very hard, especially from the outside looking in when you see that happening and when you see a baby going through things like that, it makes it really hard. I have a soft spot in my heart for babies, for children, for yeah. even seniors. <laughs> if I see anything happening to them and it, it affects me, like I get emotional over it, whether it's anger, sadness, whatever, because I just don't think that they... They can advocate for themselves, but sometimes they can't. And that's not fair, especially when you feel like since nobody else is going to help them, that you need to step in and do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there's a, so to me, it's, it's, so it's, it's a layered, it's a layered issue. So, mm-hmm. um, I am divorced. I have three sons. They're adults now. And I always had custody of my children, of our children. 
So I think at some point, there are some people, I will say this, that do play, that are good at playing the victim. Mm -hmm. There are some people that don't have any responsibility for decisions that they've made. Mm -hmm. um, number one, so the most, one of the most important decisions you can make in life is who you marry and who you have children with. Mm -hmm. And that, a lot of times that lesson is not learned until after the fact. So um, I started having children when I was 19, 20. And then I just kept having them. <laughs> then I figured out how that was going to work. So I figured it out. Then I, then I stopped. But everything's figure out. Right? Yeah, I know why. I know how it happened. And I'm like, yeah. no. So I'm good. My baby's going to be 22 this month. Mm -hmm. um, but I can say at, one, at some point, I'm sure I could have been a toxic parent. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I could have been. I never was the mom to keep the kids away from their father. I was always trying to give them to their father because I was tired. Um, <laughs> but I, I'm sure I made plenty of mistakes, right? Like I'm sure I made plenty of mistakes. No one is perfect. Mm -hmm. But I will say I never kept um, him from his children, and I never necessarily like just talked bad and horrible about him to his children. He did a great job doing that on his own. And so, and yeah, so, right. a lot let of times, let them show their hands. Let them show their yeah. I mean, you, you just kind of sit back and leave the situation alone. Mm -hmm. They'll tell it. Then they'll, they will. They, mm -hmm. They'll certainly tell it. And then the kids will have to deal with, with them. Yeah. One thing that does um, happen and what has happened in my personal situation is that it caused my grown men, my grown children, to have to deal with their father. Mm -hmm. And so that was their relationship. That they have sometimes people try to change and do better when it's a little bit too late, yeah. And then they have to deal with that. I don't have to necessarily deal with that, so it is a thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but then you also have the toxic parents of adult children, that's right. And so, um, man, I know somebody personally, and it's, it's a sad situation because they're dealing with a toxic parent that is delusional. Mm -hmm. Now, when you have a delusional mm -hmm. toxic parent. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're very vindictive, toxic parent, and you just have all these like traits. Then you have to handle them with a long handle spoon. I do think there are some instances where you have to cut ties in order yeah. for your own mental stability. Oh yeah. But um, and 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 just listening to what this poor person is going through, this individual is going through. I think ties should have been cut a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Just for their own sanity, but that's not, I don't have a dog in that fight, as they yeah. say. So, but I personally don't have any experience with that. Like, my, I'm great, my mom is great, mm -hmm. my dad often could have done things a little bit differently. Um, I grew up with both parents in the household. My dad did not leave and go left until I was a senior in high school, necessarily. Mm -hmm. He made tons of mistakes throughout their marriage. Obviously, we were, um, we were privy to things that we should have never been mm -hmm. privy to, but. My mom made up for it. Yeah. My mom was everything. She's still everything to me mm -hmm. now. So, but I, but I just don't have to deal with that. Yeah, I don't. I don't have experience with toxic parents either. Both of my parents I knew growing up wanted the best for me, um, but I do know. And my parents didn't get divorced till we were already, you know, out of high school. So we were already adults mm -hmm. when my parents ended up getting a divorce. But we did see the toxic relationship they had together. While, mm. while we were growing up and so we knew that their relationship wasn't solid but mm. we knew they were together because they wanted to have a two-parent household for their kids so they put us first before what they needed which you know if that's what you decide to do that's what you decide to do but you also mm. can't show the problem <laughs> side of it you know yes. what i mean like because sometimes i i tell my mom we may want to talk about this mm -hmm. I know a lot of what my mom went through and endured and stayed with my father because she felt like having the father in the home was it important. Was the kids, right? But man, yeah, it caused so much damage. Mm -hmm. And I used to always say like, like, yeah, I wish she would have left. Yeah, I wish she would have left because that's kind of how I had to, ha I had to like deal with my issues with my because I was in some toxic relationships, guys. Mm -hmm. Like, woo, y'all don't have to hear some stories about what we the relationship <laughs> series. You're going to yeah. be like, those that know me, there's few that know most. Um, some know a lot, but it's like, my goodness. It's almost amazing mm -hmm. the amount of stuff that I put up with and I went through, especially when you know better. Yeah. But um, it's just like, 
it's horrible. I, there's no other way to say that, right? It's just, it's just not a good feeling. It's not a good thing. Mm-hmm. So, um, man. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you like, you think, you think what you're doing is, is for good, but a lot of times it's not. Yeah. A lot of times it's not. You should have just, um, because your environment is your household. Like, that's your home. That's your safe space. Mm-hmm. Um, that's your peaceful place. Okay, you want to be peaceful. Yeah. yeah. And then when you're, and when you're dealing with parents that think that they're hiding how they really feel about each other or what's going on, you're not hiding it. Right. The kids know. Mm-hmm. And so at some point, I think it's just, it's maybe, it may not be easier to leave. Yeah. But I definitely think it's better to leave. Right. No. Like, absolutely. as an adult dealing with that as a child. Right. It's almost like you're like, now she would have left. Right. You know, kind of thing. Yeah. And I think the, the thing for me is like, I would have wanted my parents to be happy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't want... They cheat themselves out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I would have wanted that for them. You know? Because I'm always harping on, you know, life is way too short. We have a limited time. Everything is temporary, yeah. even life itself. And so, I just wish they would... I. And I'm sure if I talk to my mom now, you know, she'd say, you know, well, I was happy because at the time I was doing what I thought was best, you know, exactly. and so well, you know better, you do better, yeah. right, you know, and, and they so, know they're doing the best they can yeah, at the time. Yeah, exactly. But. Yeah. But I feel like, you know, and I don't want to say it was wasted years, but the time that you can never get back, mm-hmm. you know, but like I said, you know, they did what they thought was best at the mm-hmm. time. Yeah. So, so like t- dealing with toxic parents in and of themselves, I think is something that people cannot downgrade or downplay um as well as reiterate that because you have to really really take into account dealing with toxic parents affects you mentally mm-hmm. it affects you spiritually mm-hmm. and it affects you financially um and so you really have to make sure that whenever you're dealing with those toxic parents sometimes dealing with them is not dealing with them yep. right. because you take on so much mm-hmm. of whatever they're going through and sometimes you just have to kind of release yourself from that and be okay with it, yeah. right? Be okay, not be okay. I do believe in having the hard conversations. Mm-hmm. If I quit talking to you, you're going to know why I quit talking to you. Right. I'm going to tell you. Mm-hmm. You don't have to agree with me. Um, I'm one of the people that I could do that did have a conversation with my father about what he did wrong and what I feel like he went really left. I don't believe in like just talking to people again and act like nothing happened. Mm-hmm. That's not that's not my personality. If we're going to have the hard conversation yeah. and I'm okay with having the hard conversation. Even I tell my own kids, I make plenty of mistakes with them, but I tell them they can always come and talk with them. Mm-hmm. You know what? I wish you would have not done that. I wish you would have did this instead. Mm-hmm. Or why did you do that? Or um, when you did this, it hurt my feelings and this is why. Yeah. I'm okay with that. And I'm like, I'll oh, listen. I'm not agree. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll listen. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> I might be like, what? Like, you know, but I'm, 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 I will hear you out. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I think it's just it's just different when you're dealing with toxic people in your life. I'm an energy person. Mm-hmm. Me too. I don't like bad energy around me. Mm-hmm. I believe just having a conversation, and I may never talk to you again. Mm-hmm. And that's okay too. Yeah. But at least I know how I felt was expressed, and you were told, and then how you felt could have been expressed and told. And we can walk away from that if that's what we choose to do. But Yeah. And like you said, having the hard conversations is super important because yeah. what's going to happen? What's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to tell them how you feel, piss them off, and then what? They're not going to talk to you again? Well, that's pretty much what you want in the first place. You don't <laughs> want to be around them anyway. You, know you don't want to talk to me anyway. Yeah. yeah. No, but I'm, I'm like, seriously, it's... It's important to have the hard conversations. It's important to let people know where you stand and not let them run all over you. And once you get to the point where you can release the need of feeling like, you know, being judged or being, you know, wanted or being accepted by somebody else who just will not open up or show you that love. Once you release that feeling that you have to have that closure from them, it's liberating because truly being able to walk away from a conversation that is not productive or that it's not going to go anywhere you can remove yourself from that and then when they're ready and if you're still okay with it when they're ready to come back and have the conversation at that time then you can revisit it if at that point you're happier without them in your life then let it be yeah you know and a lot of times you know I'm, right, yeah, I'm 45 guys so uh disrespect is closure yeah for me like i'm okay I will okay you to death. <laughs> like, once I make my mind, okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Sounds good. Two plus two is five. Sounds good to me, too. <laughs> Goodbye.
You know? yeah. 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 I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> I, I, I won't. Yeah. I don't have the energy. Yeah. To me, it's pointless. If, if we're having a conversation and I start having one sentence, one, <laughs> one word answers, okay. <laughs> That's the clue. Yeah. Wrap it up. Yeah. Wrap it up. Because I'm, yeah. Not, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and talk in circles. No. Yeah. I just can't do that. But <laughs> my parents, man, I don't really have to deal with that. I don't really know what that's like. Mm -hmm. um, but then on the other end, too, with having toxic parents is as you become an adult and you've been a victim of that, you know, yeah. growing up, you've been a victim of toxic parents for whatever reason, either, you know, maybe your parents weren't there at all. Maybe you were in the system and had to grow up without them, you know, that kind of thing. Um, that is a lot long lifelong effect too, right? Because then you're an adult now, and what if you start having kids? Go to counseling. You know what I mean, like Lord Jesus, deal with your <laughs> issue. That way you don't pass it on to other people. Like right. your kids don't deserve to have to deal with your lack of 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 parentage, right? Mm -hmm. Like so, at some point it has to stop somewhere, right? Like it has let, let, let it be you. That like let it stop first. with you. Chop yeah. It. yeah, let <laughs> it stop with you. Like don't let like, let it continue. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We have a whole bunch of mad people that don't know why they're mad. They mm -hmm. expect everybody else to know why they're mad, mm -hmm. and they want everybody to know how they feel. And understand how they. It's just ridiculous. It's like a. It's just a. It's a cycle. It's yeah. just never ending. Yeah. Yeah. And whatever you need to do to release it, go to those freaking axe throwing places. <laughs> go to the gun. Go to the gun range. Go to the gun range. Go, <laughs> gun range. go boxing. Go to UFC. Go to the UFC gyms. You know, just release it however you feel. Yeah. Like it's liberating. When you get to the point, like even now with me, like I've gotten to the point where there are very, very little things that bother me. Yeah. Because I just don't have the time or the energy to let it, and I, I just can't. When I, like, do I have kids with you? I don't. No. Have, yeah. I have bills with you? Yeah. No. Yeah. So what? yeah, the only yeah the only people that I will sit there and have long down on conversations if they're necessary. Or my family, you know, my husband, my daughter, um, people that I that have my heart, you yeah. know, like I have to have a conversation with them because I don't want to see them again. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> but but you know, I just I can't because they are the only ones that I really care what they think about me. You know what I mean? Like I care what they how they feel about me. You know. Everybody else, I'm like, eh, you know. I just don't care what my people think about me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't care. I don't care. Like, yeah. I, I just don't. Like, my kids, I mean, I want them to respect me. Right. I want them to love me. I want them to be like, you know, mom did an okay job. Right. right? Mm -hmm. I don't give a shit if they like me. <laughs> I just don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am, because, you know, I, you know. <laughs> sometimes I feel like a nut. Sometimes I'm like, no. You know? <laughs> Like I said, I said I could walk out this room today mm -hmm. and never talk to these people again, <laughs> and, they, and it would not affect my life—not <laughs> not one bit. Yeah. Like, I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. Like, I do care what people think about me. Really some people, yeah. some people, but I'm get over it. Exactly. <laughs> and then, you know what? They'd be all right. Yeah. That's well, well, I'll be all right. It might be all right. Like, yeah. I'm good. I, I can't. I can't say I care. <laughs> I do. I care. Sometimes I care too much, but I don't show it. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I won't show it. Yeah, my kids don't give shit. <laughs> but they don't care. Okay. I mean, I want them to like, I mean, it's ideally. Yeah. But I want them to respect me. They're like, you know what? Like, when I thought, we would say, you know what? No, no, they were shot told the truth. Boy, she didn't care a whole lot what you felt. <laughs> <laughs> and we love her because of it. Like, that's what I like. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah. but it's liberating, right? Yeah. Like it's a great feeling to to feel like nothing has emotional connection to it. Yeah, so I'm the baby of the family too. Mm -hmm. So I so so the so whole toxic parents stuff I didn't see as much as right. my siblings. Oh, saw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I do have a different view because I didn't see as, as much as they saw. Mm -hmm. And I'm my mama's baby. I was in every episode I think. So like, <laughs> uh, she's your mama's baby, guys. <laughs> so like I just don't. 
I probably just wasn't exposed to it as much. Right, right, yeah. So, I, and I know that for sure. Because I've heard of things that my dad did that mm -hmm. I'm like, oh my God. That you didn't see. That I didn't see. Mm -hmm. So then I have a, so then that's maybe why I was more open to have to throw things out with Right, him, right. Yeah. Because um, you didn't have the anger built up like the siblings. I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and I was daddy's girl too. So. Yeah. So I think some of that plays into it as far as your your order and your mm -hmm. in your um in, you know when when you're born and what you're what you witness. Like I know my oldest, Terrence Junior, you know he witnessed more than Tyson. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So and then like Terrence got the real strict parent. Yeah, Tyson yeah. got the more like. like <laughs> But but did you die? Right. You know? <laughs> yeah. But did you die? And that's weird. You got stand up, wipe it off. It's yeah. Fine. It's and like fine. and like and like little tears will come in reverse time and so I'll be like, I can't believe you let him get away with that. Mm -hmm. And one day for you, I said, Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I don't want to explain nothing. No more. I don't want to explain. But yeah, so. you're like he's still alive. He's good to go. <laughs> he's good. I mean, I kind of have to talk to parents because they know nothing else. My kids are crazy and everything else. But yeah. they do know they make a phone call, mama going to be there. Yeah. Yes, exactly. They know I'm going to be there. Grandma going to be there. I may fuss a little, mm -hmm. but I'm going to come through. Yeah. And, and I that's think, just how that works. Yeah. And I think on the other side where, you know, <clears throat> the other side of the question about, you know, respecting the parents, knowing yeah. that they're going to love you regardless and everything they're doing is for your benefit. Growing up, I was bad. I can't. I there. The, I was bad, and I. I even tell my brothers now. I'm like, I feel so bad for the stuff I put my mom through. Yeah. And as much as like she means to me now, I feel horrible for putting her through what I put her through because. But when your kids put you through it. Well, Taviana luckily did not. She's a good. She look, was good. You're that but, tramp. My little <laughs> baby. He's a payback for everything I ever did. <laughs> Uh -huh. He's my payback child. Yeah. And as they say, it's the, that middle one. Mm hmm. Whew. That's right. He's, he was everything I did. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mama. I thought my little lady had told us, Mama, you know what? I'm so sorry. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. yeah. Tori had called me and I said, Ooh, some choice words to him. And I said, I, this, is, this is what I get. <laughs> this is what I get. <laughs> this is what. It's my fault. Yeah. I should have just listened. Mm -hmm. No, girl, yeah, Taviana is nothing like me, which I am so she's grateful so sweet, for. Though. She is so sweet and yeah. she's so respectful. But I think I scared her too, though. <laughs> <laughs> when she was growing up, she she told me she was scared of me. <laughs> that's <laughs> my expectations. <laughs> but that's my baby, though. That's my baby. So <laughs> yeah, but that's the only advice I have, guys. Like, just. Um, dealing if you're a parent dealing with another toxic parent, mm -hmm. and sometimes you have to, um, it's a time issue, mm -hmm. something you can just wait them out, mm -hmm. right? But, um, because I do know there are, I do know a, a, a gentleman that the hit a child by somebody, the mother gave him such a hard time back and forth in court and fighting, mm -hmm. he literally made the decision to just not fight anymore. And wait till the child turn eighteen. I know, and sometimes trying to explain it. And sometimes that's it. That it don't work that way. It doesn't work that way. You no. Know? But it's kind of like at what point do you say uncle? Right. At what point do you just say I, I can't keep fighting? I know. You know. Yeah. And then because I know then some you get this situation. Yeah. Like that, right. You, know? you just feel like you want to. You want. You don't want to stop fighting for your child. I know. But at some but point, it, your hands become tight. But when you, other, when you get courts involved and law. Yeah, involved, and the other parents making it difficult on purpose. Yeah. No like. Or the, like you said earlier, feeding the child with negative things yeah. about the other parents. It's not even true. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, your dad can come see you. Well, he doesn't come see you because I keep moving every three months so he can't right. know where you're at. Or he, he doesn't come see you because I keep, you know, yipping at exactly. him and making it, you know, yeah, making him not want to be around. Yeah. Or, you know, something like that. Like, they don't ever tell that side of the story. Yeah. So I know it's a real thing. People go through that. Yeah. But I was always trying to drop kids off at my, my ex-husband or mm -hmm. get him to come get his kids. Yeah. But, but yeah, but then yeah, I just and that's that's not fair because like I said, that's a, that's the point where you're playing the kids like pawns, you know, like, and they have absolutely nothing, nothing to do with y'all relationship. Yeah, <laughs> you and know, they're they're being affected by it the most. Yeah, or even even now, like as an adult, even trying to have a relationship with your absent parent who was you know who had their own issues for whatever reason, mm -hmm. trying to have a relationship with them, and it just it's not worth it. If yeah. they're not if they're not making an effort and you're the only one making an effort, then just let it be. As hard as that like, may be. Yeah. Um, because it's just gonna take its toll on you mentally. You want toxic family members, mm -hmm. that's a whole other episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, and 
So it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. Mm-hmm. It's just it's it's just toxic. It's horrible. We mm-hmm. want to live like that. Yeah, exactly. And then like you know, we were talking about you know as an adult, and then you haven't gone through all that growing up being in a toxic environment, and a lot of times you see it where. It's like, you know, you grow up seeing things and you don't want that for your kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and then sometimes you just can't help but repeat it because it right. feels comfortable. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, we're crazy feels comfortable. Yeah. And that's a whole other, like, crazy should not feel comfortable. Yeah, because it's normal for you, right? It's normal. Mm-hmm. So, you, so you don't deal with it, you end up recreating that same environment. Right. Yeah, that, that's, that, that's why I made decisions to not be with certain people so that my children mm-hmm. um, did not have to think that a man being disrespectful, um, not not supporting the home, mm-hmm. uh, just, you know, uh, womanizing and all this mm-hmm. other stuff. I think that, that was normal because that's not, there's nothing normal about that. Right. And then you had, you know, men that you were raising. Yes. Yeah. I've always taken it that I had sons seriously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I can see that too because, you know, I have a daughter. So mine was mm-hmm. on the opposite end, right? Mm-hmm. Like making sure that she knew her that, value. yeah, her value and that what she would bring to a relationship and not, not falling, you know, victim to being with somebody who was going to try to control her. You know, yeah. things like that. You know what or I mean? the friend that speaks nice to you. You're like, oh my God. Because yes. you've been talked to crazy by your right. father, your mother, everybody your whole life. So you end up in these crazy relationships because the guy was nice in the beginning. Right. Yeah. Then you're stuck. Mm-hmm. Right. No, it's not good. And I got lucky because, you know, Donnell, he's freaking, yeah. I mean, he's a big old teddy bear. Yeah. You yeah, know, for sure. <laughs> so like Taliana and, and, you know, they always say, you know, women or girls tend to be with somebody that is like their dad yeah right mm-hmm. that has tendencies like their dad yes, and yes, it yes. goes up um, right along with because that's what they're comfortable mm-hmm. with that's what they know you know yeah and so um which is good and bad it's good if they have a great dad <laughs> not so great if they have a, yeah yeah if they have an abusive dad <laughs> yeah you mm-hmm. know yeah. which you know we Sorry if it triggers anybody. We we're not meaning to do that. <laughs> but we're right. just saying. It's you know? a conversation. It yeah, is. just a conversation. If this triggers you, go to counseling. Yes. Yes. Make an appointment because mm-hmm. you need it. Yeah. Because we all do. Yes. At yeah. one point in time or another. Yeah. Hey. We all need to help. That well, Somebody hey. To talk to. It's it said that everybody should go to therapists. Yeah. Therapy at least once a year. At least yeah. once a year it's because a we all carry stuff that's heavy. Yeah. All of us do. Even if it's work. Yeah, anything. You, you, but it doesn't have to always be your familial relationship yeah. that you need counseling about. Mm-hmm. It could just be work because yeah. it's work environments. I don't think people realize how toxic work environments were until COVID, mm-hmm. and then you weren't around it. Yeah, and then some people got just happier. Yeah, or like they were. They realized they have. They needed more balance in their life, mm-hmm. and to be around their home more, around their kids more, around their spouse more. Oh yeah. Yeah. So this was a, that was an interesting question because they yes. said we all have. We both have personal experience with. Both questions on both sides. Mm-hmm. Um, I said my mom is not toxic, so I've been able to benefit from that, from not having a toxic mom. Yeah. Um, my dad was toxic, but it was I didn't have to necessarily deal with it as much as my siblings did because that's why I was the youngest, I was the baby, mm-hmm. so I didn't have to deal with it as far as um, as as much as they actually had to. So yeah, and I didn't have firsthand experience with toxic parents because, like I said, both of my parents were. They each individually had a relationship with us that was good. It was great. Mm-hmm. Um, just to, together, we didn't yeah, work too well. right, yeah, not just that, but I do know people who have gone through issues with, you know, the other parent keeping the child from them or the other parent using the child against them, and just seeing it from an outside observer. Yeah, you know, you just you know that it's wrong, and you just see. It sucks. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then you feel bad for the child, you know? It completely sucks. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do, so we're going to thank you all for this episode. So the next episode we're going to do um, is going to be about helpful business hints, do's and don'ts for business. We're both business owners. We're both entrepreneurs. I got tons of stories. <laughs> I can tell you what not to do. Mm-hmm. And I can tell you what to do, but I can tell you what not to do. Yeah. Um, we're going to talk about <laughs> how to pick business partners. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're going to, we're going <laughs> we're to, we're going to kind of like LLC, stuff like that, kind of what that stuff means. Mm-hmm. And um, we also have a special treat for y'all this month. Yes. We are going to have a bonus episode this month with a special guest. So this month, it is Suicide and Alcohol, Drug, and Recovery Awareness Month. 
Suicide Awareness Day is on September 10th. So we will have a bonus episode with a special guest who that topic is near and dear to her heart. And so we- Personally affected. Yes, personally affected. So we will bring her in to chat and we cannot wait for you guys to see that. Um, It is going to be a very heavy conversation. And so um, we do want you to come to this episode and sit with us with an open heart and mind. Um, because it is a very difficult topic to talk about, but Ray and I both, we are big on addressing taboo topics and topics that are hard conversations because it's important. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be heavy, but it's going to be necessary. Yes. Yes. Heavy, but necessary. Absolutely. So you're going to tune into our bonus episode, our next episode, like I said, the next scheduled episode, um, well, the next one will be about helpful business hints. And just so y'all know, look forward to October. October is going to be all about relationships. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Y'all know I love talking about relationships. Yes. Uh, It's going to be hilarious. I'm going to tell y'all all all of my stories. I'm going to tell y'all my my hangups. Oh, my God. Uh, we're gonna be good. We're gonna have we're gonna have some guests on in October as well. Yes. But um, so let's look forward to it. It's gonna be hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. <laughs> Y'all definitely do not want to miss it. I'm telling Stop you right now. I'm telling you the business one. If you ever even thought about having a business, mm-hmm. you need to tune in to the next one. Bring your pen business. and your notepad. Yes. Mm-hmm. And your listening ears. Yes. And yeah, it's open mind. It's gonna be very interesting. All so. kinds of gems, guys. That's what we got for y'all. We got gems. Gems, gems, gems. Yeah. So if you have any questions, feel free. You can message us through the through our website, mm-hmm. italkbackrm.com, the info session or contact us. Mm-hmm. Um, follow us on Instagram and TikTok and threads. Again, it's the same handle. It's italkbackrm. I look forward to the next episode. Yes. I am so excited. This, like Ray told y'all before, it's just going to go up and up and up from here. Join us. Be our friends. And you will like, subscribe, and download. Yes. Right? You're welcome to download. Yeah. (laughs) Yes. If you like to watch videos, catch us on YouTube. If you like to listen audio, if you want to take us to work with you in the morning or on your way home from work, you can catch us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And guys, first of all, it's football season. It is, though. It's, it's my- <laughs> Count me out. Football. This one right here. Yeah. Ray, Ray's going to be sporting some some uh, jerseys probably. Look, these yeah. things for life. I don't care if you don't like it. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. Okay. Mm-hmm. But there you have it, guys. All right. It's been great. Thank y'all so much. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to I Talk Back with Ray and Mandy. Please hit the like and subscribe button to stay updated on future podcasts.